Hey guys, it's Furby Man here on the China Fig channel, and today we're doing a review of the Billy Mouth Singing Fish. So, I got this guy from um, Mercari Japan, and he was surprisingly cheap. I'm actually surprised nobody bought him before I did. He was only around 15 bucks with free shipping within Japan, and then of course I had to pay shipping outside of Japan. But after all the fees and everything, he came to around 40 bucks total, which really isn't a bad price for this. So, this is the Elvis version, and I know there's a few different versions of this. There's this one which plays Don't Be Cruel and All Shook Up. There's one that plays Wild Thing and Please Release Me, and I actually like that version better than the Elvis one. Um, They made one that's just like this, but it's in red, and I think the uh, it has like dotted lines going across it, and it's in red. And then they made one called Big Mouth, where it's the same exact fish, but the nameplate says Big Mouth instead of Billy Mouth. And there may be a few other variants that I'm forgetting about, but that's all the ones that we know about. So, when I got this guy, he was in surprisingly good shape. The only things that were wrong with him was a split ten-tooth gear in the head, and his crown gear was also broken. And at the back here, he's missing the stand... And that's kind of a common problem with these Billy Mouth fish, because I've seen a whole bunch that are missing the stand. And the battery compartment is totally, like, it's totally rusted out. I tried to uh, fix it. I tried to, like, chisel it out, but it's just not worth it. So I just use him on an adapter. So what's interesting about this is he came from Japan. So he was actually distributed by a different company in Japan. If you see that sticker right there, it says, uh... It says Jazz Rack, and if you collect Japanese merchandise, you, not, you uh, might know them because they are a legitimate uh, distribution company in Japan. And it's kind of interesting that they would even deal with Billy Mouth because, you know, he's so obviously a knockoff. But, I don't know, that's just what ended up happening. In other countries, he's distributed by Knight. Um, and what's interesting about Knight is they also distributed Jemmy products. Uh, yeah, Knight distributed Billy Mouth in the UK, Germany, and most uh, Western European countries. Billy Mouth was distributed by Knight, and I think in Canada as well. But in uh, in Japan, he was distributed by Jazzrack, which is interesting. So there is a circuit board problem with this guy. Basically, what happens is um, whenever the tail moves, the pitch goes all uh, goes all weird, and for some reason, that's a very common problem with the Elvis Billy Mouths. I think we've only seen, like, a few that aren't like that. And I don't know I don't know why it happens. I guess it's just a bad pitch resistor on the board. But I have no idea how to fix it, so I'm just going to leave it alone. And, yeah, other than that, he works fine. So, uh, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a very big deal. So, we'll plug him in. And what's interesting is when you plug him in, he kind of... He kind of jumps here. Let me, uh, uh, here. Yeah, like for a second when you plug him in, his head and his tail move, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, all the Elvis fish do that. So that's pretty much all there is to say about him. So, uh, we'll play him. He plays the two Elvis songs, Don't Be Cruel and All Shook Up. So here he goes. <laughs> And here's the second song. I 
So yeah, that's uh, that's what he does, and that's pretty much all there is to say about him, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.